Sunday night, everybody! Check, check, check. What is up, New York? So for the past few months, I have been a politician and I've been handling things in a political way. But where this really started is the Sons and Daughters of Liberty right here. That's us. And we're standing outside of City Hall. So I'm going to make this very, very clear as we enter the next winter of death. Oh. If you tell me I can't go into a restaurant, my ass is walking right into that restaurant. You're all coming with me. Yeah. And that's what I have to say to the piece of crap that is up there. We, the people, are back in this mother effort. Yeah. We, the people, do not ask permission from tyranny in, in different areas of government. We don't Woo. do it. We don't have to. We are granted freedom by our creator and the constitution. So when people were looking at us like, what's next for these unclean disease bags? These tinfoil hat wearing unclean disease bags. Well, I'll tell you what's next. The CDC just vindicated everything we said. Yet there's still people wearing masks that are quadruple vaxxed, that are taking pills like Plaxivit or whatever the hell it's called, and they're getting those rare cases of double rebound COVID in four days. Only happens like one to two percent of the time, but if you work in the White House and the NIH, it's a hundred percent of the times. So you just happen to be on TV. It's over. The narrative is over. And when they tell you that you need monkeypox vaccines to go to school, what are you going to say? The answer is no. The answer is no. So why is it that I got into this whole realm of politics? So I just lost. Everyone's like, ha, 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 he lost. Well, I got over 20% of the vote with like 0.1% of the budget. That's unheard of against an incumbent. We're putting people on notice. We have to put people on notice so they know when they don't have any pushback, it continues. So let's go back to Max Publicast when Danny opened that bar with Keith every night. Everybody said, John, you're crazy. You're going in that bar and take a video. You have a job. Just stay out of it. But we do not get to sit down and stay out of it. Because if we didn't push back, if we didn't go into restaurants, if we did not paint the picture that this whole entire thing is a fraud, we would still not be able to go into restaurants. Do you not understand watching everybody getting taken out in cuffs out of Applebee's and all these other places? And it got to the it got, it got to the news cycle. Everybody said, what is happening in New York City? What's happening? And then it started to change. That was because of us. This crowd right here, take a bow. Otherwise, you would still be doing it. So I'm making this short and I'm making this sweet. Everyone's asked me if I'm going back into politics to be determined. What I am going to do right now is do a selfless pitch because I'm, I'm unemployed AF. This new shirt is on sonsanddaughtersofliberty.world. It's called Distressed. We're going to have more designs coming, but the most important thing is we back in this motherfucker. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. No means no.